You know, one of the most common prayers prayed in uh, uh, many different denomina denominational churches all over the world is the Lord's Prayer. This is an interesting book. This whole book was written about the Lord's Prayer and every little meaning of the words and everything. And it was really an interesting read to me. But uh, uh, the, the, Jesus said the Sermon on the, on the Mount, the, these guys asked, how do we pray? And here, Jesus said it was really simple. Here's what you do. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. However, Protestants add the following sentence to the end of our Father. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. And then it goes on to explain why, why uh, Catholics and Protestants uh, uh, do things just, just a little bit different. But uh, you know, when I read through all of this stuff, what difference does it make? Does it really make a difference if that last sentence is there or not? Does it? You know, so much of the issues I believe that we have in our churches today is lack of unity. Yeah, you know, people argue over things like this. And, and I mean, massive meetings and, and upset and, and uh, God's word is pretty clear, pretty simple. If you're honoring him with the Lord's prayer, and uh, to me, it doesn't make that much difference. Uh, 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 if, if the body of Christ, and that's what the Bible calls us, the body of Christ, it's not the church that you belong to. And there is no denominations in heaven because Jesus is pretty clear on that. He calls the believers the body of Christ, whether you're Catholic, Protestant, and then all of the different uh, 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 divisions after that. But the body of Christ is a, a, a group of like-minded believers. And sometimes I look at this stuff and read the, the uh, arguments about it, and I think that's pretty petty. That's pretty petty. Can't we gather around the Word of God and, and uh, 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 just give Him praise, glory, honor, and thanks for the truth and power of His Word. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for my sins, raising again, sitting at the right hand of the Father. Yeah, yeah, you know, forgive me of my sins and turn my life over to Him and it makes no difference. Yeah, yeah you know, if that is the, what you believe in your heart, the rest of it is simple. I just shared that with you. I don't know what you believe, I don't know what you're gonna say. But I just felt like I needed to share that with you. Hopefully it resonates like it did to me. It doesn't make too much difference as long as you're honoring God, particularly in this case. Hey, from all of us here at the Edge, you have a good, safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water.